Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm so sorry for the delay in doing a video. I have been busier at work than I ever thought possible. I kind of wanted to do like a back to the basics sort of video because sometimes I feel like I, um, for you guys, like review products that are a ton of fun, but they're probably not what somebody who's just like breaking into the market is looking for. Um, you know, like the Gabrielle bag, like the pochettes, like sometimes the wallet on a chain, like those aren't necessarily things that um, a first time Chanel buyer is, you know, going to go ahead and invest in. I think um, if anybody out there is like me, they sort of fell into Chanel by wanting to buy their first classic flap bag. The idea being that a classic flap obviously holds its value a lot better than some of the other handbags that Chanel makes. Um, they're more classic and then as everybody always talks about, the prices keep going up. So today I thought I would do a video on like which classic bag would be like right for you. Um, obviously my choice, which is the Chanel Jumbo, I have actually two kind of options. For me personally, my choice of classic Chanel bag is always going to be the Chanel Jumbo. So I hope to like offer enough comparison um, to some of the sizes that you guys can make like obviously an independent decision because I'm not telling you which bag to buy. And obviously that's such like a highly personalized question, but I thought maybe this would kind of help. So I have with me five of the six classic styles. There is a classic flat bag that I don't have mainly because I never really see it out there. I think it's like not produced because like the it's the small is essentially what it's called and the size is so similar to a medium large and then the price point is like kind of off that I think it's maybe one of the least popular uh, classic Chanel um, sizes. So, um, so the first bag, smallest Chanel um, classic size is this guy. So this is a Chanel Square Mini and it looks like this and it has like all the hallmarks of a Chanel bag which are this back pocket and like the turn lock like CC clasp and then it has obviously the classic like flap chains. Um, the dimensions on this bag are approximately six and a half inches wide by five inches high and then it's approximately two and a half inches like thick. And this bag retails currently for $2,900. And I hope I'm getting the prices right on these because I think in June they did have another price spike. Um, so if I'm mistaken, somebody please correct me in the description bar. So this is the Chanel Square Mini. Your second available um, classic bag is the Chanel Rectangular Mini. So this bag is approximately um, eight inches wide by five inches high. And then it's um, similar to the square. It's two, they say it's two inches in depth. Um, and this guy currently retails for $3,100. It just went up from $2,900. And what I'm going to do is kind of show you these two side by side so that you can see that there's not like a huge gigantic difference between the two of them like you know obviously the rectangular flap is um a bit longer but there, I have another video on this but size wise uh they essentially kind of fit the same thing so this is 3100 and this is 2900 so there's a 200 dollars difference between the minis we okay so then technically the next size up would be the chanel small, which I don't have um, currently in my collection, but I'm just going to tell you what the dimensions of it are. So it's 9.3 inches long by 5.7 inches high and then 2.6 inches like thick. Um, it's $4,700. So all of a sudden, like something that is only 1.3 inches wider, 0.7 inches taller and 0.6 inches like thicker than the rectangular mini is $1,600 more expensive. Um, that's kind of why I think that this isn't like a particularly popular style um, of bag, but I don't have it. So anyway, moving on, the next size up is, and this is one of my favorite bags, is the Chanel Medium Large. 
Um, so you'll see, again, it has all the hallmarks of the classic bag, which is the turn lock and the pocket and the chains. Um, this bag's dimensions are 10 inches long by 6.3 inches tall, and then it's approximately three inches wide. And this bag retails for $4,900. So it's $200 more than this kind of like unicorn small bag. Um, and then it is $1,800 in the rectangular mini. And to put these next to one another, you can see that like you're really starting to see like a giant size difference. So um, the medium large is, you know, substantially taller than the rectangle. Um, width wise, it's probably only a little bit wider, but then um, like height wise, you can really start to see the difference between these two bags. And then obviously, like once you're kind of bumped up into this medium large like range, you get the four grommet holes at the top which means that you can wear the bags either on long strap or you can double them as opposed to the rectangular mini which just has the two grommet holes at the top and then I don't really know that this is a benefit because it's super annoying but it also has the double flap so it has this like extra flap on the inside so it's a it's a more like substantial bag through and through with a rectangular mini you're not gonna get the double flap. It just opens right up into the handbag. Okay, so next size up, which is my favorite size, is the Chanel Jumbo. Um, again, like so similar to the medium large, it's gonna have that uh, double flap on the inside and then you're also gonna have the four grommet holes at the top so that you can wear it either single or double chain. Um, the dimensions on the jumbo are 11.8 inches long by approximately eight inches high. And then the width is about four inches. So, um, and this one retails for $5,500. So where you can see I'm kind of going, going, uh, at, sorry, my head keeps getting cut off. I'm terrible at this, but um, where I'm getting at is that for $600 more than the medium large, you get a much bigger bag. So compared to the medium large, again, you're gonna see like a substantial size difference between these two bags is here they are side by side. And then you can start to see that the width is like um, significantly different and then Let's see if I can do this. Like the height, they're kind of heavy, of the um, jumbo is a lot bigger. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea as far as size. But um, as far as like bang for your buck, like this is kind of where my whole theory comes from. Like you're getting a much bigger bag for $600 more. Um, then the last size is the Maxi. <laughs> So this is the biggest size classic flap. I also um, think that it's not the biggest fan favorite because it's absolutely gigantic. I would say it's like up there in the luggage category. This guy measures 13.4 inches across by 9.1 inches high. And then similar to the jumbo, it's four inches wide. So, um, so it's a huge bag, like kind of a front and top wise, and then width is exactly the same. And then similar to the medium large and the jumbo, you have the double flap on the inside, and then you have the four grommet holes on the top. This bag retails for 6,000. And compared to the jumbo, oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. One of the biggest complaints of Chanel bags is how heavy they are. <laughs> So anyway, putting these side by side, you can see again, like how much bigger of a step up you go with this jumbo size. Um, width though is about the same. I feel like I have to back up into like Antarctica to get like a decent shot of this. Um, and then height is about the same. So I'm gonna tip the camera off. I'm gonna try to do this like in the most graceful youtube -y fashion ever, but it's gonna fail. So let me try to show you what these look like on. Hi. Okay, so I'm about 5'5". Five five. Let's see if we can make this work. So, okay, yeah, that'll work. All right, so here is the Chanel Mini. So if I'm wearing it cross body, 
it hits me like right at the waist. All right, sorry if the lighting is bad as well. Um, here is the rectangular mini. It has a longer strap. If anybody wants the dimensions, um, just let me know. I'm kind of standing on my tiptoes here, but you can see that crossbody, it hits like slightly lower. I want to say that the square mini has like a 21 inch chain and this is like 23 inches. So it's not a substantial difference. The medium large is not at all a crossbody bag for like my frame. The strap is just way too short um so it would have to be like essentially a shoulder bag or you can double the chains on a medium large and kind of make it a smaller bag i to me this is almost like evening bag style mainly because i carry so much crap around for like work and just on a daily basis and um it's fairly small so I actually typically reserve these for like weekend use and like going out use. Okay, Chanel Jumbo, different story, has a huge flap. Let me see if this will help. Okay, yeah, for these two, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. But anyway, crossbody is completely doable with a Chanel Jumbo. It may be a little on the long side. Um, typically, I do wear the Jumbo like this which is with the straps like doubled up and I find it to be like a very comfortable um, length. And then the last bag, which is the luggage, which is the maxi, again, has a super long strap so that you can wear it cross body. Um, and then you can double the straps up and wear it like fairly comfortable at like a high um, position. So I hope that gives you guys like a decent idea um, of what the straps look like. So, um, so those are like in general the five most accessible um, classic flaps out there. For me, I think that my um, favorite choice is obviously the Chanel Jumbo because you're you know, you're on your bigger size of a bag. If you've got $4,900 to spend on a bag, wait, save up for um, the Jumbo because it's only $5,500 more and the size difference is so massive. Like for me, like this bag will hold a normal size wallet, like my normal size key holder, sunglasses in a bag. I have like a small Chanel O case that ha you know, I put like all my lipsticks and stuff in um, and it works totally fine. If you're in the medium large range um, or I mean, the, and then the maxi is just gigantic. So I'd say like for just the sake of the size of the maxi, like unless you're like six, like six feet tall. It's just a huge bag. So I use mine mostly for travel. But um, where I was going was that the, to me, the medium large is more of an evening bag. Like, so if I'm using this, I typically have to accommodate by using like a smaller wallet. Um, I usually don't put an O case in it. So I might have just like a couple of like free floating, like lipsticks, chapsticks, like that type of thing. It's just not um, that big. It's not hugely different than the rectangle uh, mini. And I think part of that is due to the fact that you have this flap on the inside and it's just like, it's more difficult to get into. Um, I don't know. I mean, I love it. I'm not saying I don't love the medium large and I'm very appreciative for the things that I have, but if you're in the first time market and this is what you're looking at, um, I would say go with the jumbo all, all the way. And then my other recommendation, I think if you're smaller, so a jumbo is not going to work for you because it's just like way too small um, or you're looking to save some money. I think that my next bet for you would definitely be the rectangle mini because it's 3100. It holds a ton of stuff size wise. It's not that much different than the medium large. Um, and, you know, it's just a great it's a great entry bag as far as a classic is concerned. So um, hopefully that answers some of your questions about sizes and like which Chanel bag you should be looking at if you're buying your first one, which is so exciting. If you have any questions or you need more like measurementy type information or more advice, um, please leave me comments. I love hearing from you guys and about all of the bags that you're buying. And um, yeah, you keep me really inspired. So um, thank you so much for watching. As always, I promise the next video will not be in a month. I'm trying so hard to get back on schedule. Have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks.